to uh and when he's able to realistically and i mean and he's had some great matches over the years and put him and aj together and you it was a hell of a match it really was and he took the title and i really wasn't that disappointed nope and i thought i would be yeah um so a lot of the dirt sheets have uh orton facing wyatt for the title at mania uh so that means cena's uh record tying 16th run will be all of two weeks since elimination chamber is in two weeks um what why 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 so short and i I honestly think that's why they're not putting any focus on this title reign is because they know he's gonna drop it but why why give him such a short I i don't understand enlighten me tom is the thought process here because i can't justify it well i think they wanted to i mean i think they wanted to give cena his win back from aj oh, right. get him get him his uh and the title i don't think honestly the big deal is tying the record it's going to be beating the record so him getting that 16th title is great and all but that's not where the focus is necessarily going to be it's see and they kind of made a big deal out of it earlier when he was kind of going for the title and coming up short that oh let's go for 16 so we can tie it so we can tie it well tying it's you know fine and all but it's breaking the record that is that much more impressive and i think that's something that we'll end up seeing somewhere down the line yeah i don't know Um, wyatt orton for that title at mania and the main event i can't see that happening though me Um, either and at least uh, in a main because, event kind of area? Right. Uh, well, and you know, because Dave Meltzer opened his damn mouth, all the smarks have to fall in line and believe it. And I'm just like, why? Who Who is buying tickets to WrestleMania? Who is signing up for the WWE Network to see Orton versus Wyatt? And I realize this is a, a breakup angle and a turn, but it, there's no real heat. People. The only heat that's there is the fact that it's Randy Orton and that people like Randy Orton and more importantly, people like the RKO. That's the only excitement that's there for people, I think. I don't think there anybody really gives a shit if Orton uh, goes back on his own and finally leaves the Wyatt family. So I don't Here's... see why this is a, a hot main event match. I don't get it. And it's not. It's, it's not going to be a hot main event match and it's not... That's not the match that I mean, and what they push it as and uh, whether or not it's true. But, I mean, throughout the Rumble, it's it's not just getting a title shot. It was main eventing WrestleMania. Right. And you don't main event WrestleMania in the first hour. <laughs> and realistically, if they do Orton versus Wyatt, that's a first hour match. Yeah. And I love Wyatt. And... They've hurt it's, him so much over the yeah. last two years. Ever since ever since the feud with Cena, it's been this just downward trajectory of sadness and bad booking. And it's just weird to see, like... I, I guess the way it is, too, is the fact that, like, you've got Orton in the Wyatt family, supposedly, and he so doesn't fit in the Wyatt family... And just by Randy Orton's personality that he's had over the years, decades, whatever, you know he's going to turn. Everybody's just waiting for the turn. No one believes that that, that grouping is going to stay together. Yeah. For sure. But so, I guess we'll we'll know in two weeks. And I think it's a thing of if they... And they've damaged Wyatt so much that if they have Orton versus Wyatt going into WrestleMania, no one believes Wyatt's going to take the title. Uh, No. No, everyone knows Orton's leaving with the strap. All right. Moving right along. uh, Kevin Owens retained the WWE Universal Championship while Chris Jericho was locked in a shark cage. Color me surprised on that one. 
Yeah, you know what? I was actually surprised. I'm happy with that choice, especially if we get the Undertaker Reigns thing we're looking at, which is another reason people were booing him, by the way. Uh, Reigns eliminated Undertaker. Lol. But uh, at least we know why he didn't win now. But it was a good match. I have only one complaint about this entire match, and that's if you get hit with brass knuckles... The match is over. Yeah. You don't get up from that. <laughs> Otherwise, it was a really good match. And here, because here's my thing, and peep, you're, uh, just prepare your booze, because I, I know we went through this last week. Roman Reigns doesn't have bad matches. When he's in there with someone capable, the man, especially on pay-per-view, he puts on one hell of a show. And I think he he gets put into the same kind of uh, construct that Cena does in the sense that he has these signature moves, and that's all anyone ever remembers. It, they don't remember, like, the rest of the match and the selling and everything like that. They just remember... Superman punch, it, spear, pin, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... You want a one-dimensional wrestler, look at Goldberg in his prime even, where, you know, it was punch, kick, pretend to sell, don't actually sell, spear, jackhammer, over. Because that's all the man knew how to do. Yeah. Reigns is actually a trained wrestler. He knows how to sell. He knows how to actually take a, a bump or two. I mean, and plus he's got chest protection, so <laughs> that that helps him. Yeah. But he, Maybe. he can actually take, you know, he can he can take bumps and he he sells halfway decent. I didn't know Kevlar protected you from bullets and brass knuckles. Maybe that's maybe that's what I was missing. Uh I so wanted and again, this is this is Kevin Owens and just watching how Kevin Owens operates in a ring is just fascinating to me. It's just watching him construct his Jenga of chairs. And he <laughs> be... was so deliberate about where they need, and this needs to be here just right. And like, you knew it was going to die. And part of me so wanted that like stack of chairs to just stay there, like to not yeah. to have someone not go through it. And just to like, part of me was going, is that what Kofi's going to fall on top of and be okay? He's <laughs> just going to stay there. <laughs> Just stay there through like seven matches, and then oh like halfway through the rumble, like somebody gets thrown out and they fall on the chairs, and it's like he's okay. His great. feet never touched the ground. I didn't notice it when we were watching the show, but uh, <laughs> there's one moment where he steps back to admire his work, and he's so goddamn pleased with himself. He has this big stupid smile on his face from his tower of chairs. That's Owens, man, and that's like, why oh. he's. I mean, it, it, at this point, he's not a. Is he a convincing heel? I don't think he is. No, not at all. And he's just he's such a goofball, and yeah, they booked like, him into comedy hill. And but... he, I mean, he knows how to be a heel, and he knows how to run people down, and he's a great heel on Twitter. My God, oh, so good. Also to children in the crowd that he makes cry. Yes. But, uh, all right, so let's go down the fucking dirt sheet hole of depression here. Supposedly, Kevin Owens is going to drop this belt to Goldberg at Fastlane, so Lesnar Goldberg's for the belt. No. (laughs) Right. Are, are, Are plans going to change, Tom? I, th- I think Hart is subject to change. Um, <laughs> now, Kevin Owens is taking on Lesnar at the SmackDown House show at MSG in March. So that's a thing. I mean, cool. which, it, which is fine and all, but you, Goldberg shouldn't be anywhere near a title right now. Oh, I mean, God, it, no. And here's my I thing. Mean, is this another WrestleMania? Was it? It's 20, right? Is this another WrestleMania 20 situation where... Sh- they both show up to the title in the main event or one of the main events in Mania, and everybody's like, it's two fucking part-timers. Who gives a shit? And they get booed out of the building again. Is that what happens I, here? Because I feel like that's what happens here. I mean, I just think of 
there was a scene in the rock when it was actually for the title like when rock was champion like why is rock champion like you know rock does movies he's not he's here to be on wrestlemania like and then he ended up winning the title at i guess he won it at rumble yeah because he won it off punk yeah and then like just kind of went all right i'll show up every once in a while to like raw and do promos and la 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 and until i have to like face cena at wrestlemania like yeah why do you have the belt and no goldberg shouldn't be anywhere near a fucking belt no, right now ever again period he he sorry he was a bad wrestler to begin he he cannot spend more than three minutes in a ring he busts his head open on the fucking door of the locker room <laughs> Done. You're done. Okay. Let <laughs> let's flash back to nineteen ninety nine. Oh when it, his, where his epic feud with a limousine? No, not not even that. Okay. Alright, here's a wrestler who now now I hate to break some small child or some like twenty year old's heart right now, but Oh god, who, I don't know where as, this is going. As a small child, like worshipped him or whatever but he was never good he was booked really well but he was a horrible horrible oh, wrestler. Yeah. he never had a match on nitro that was more than three minutes long that was the whole he was there to yes yeah, jackhammer spear win and go 182 and oh jerry Flynn carried his ass and i was watching the rise and fall of uh no, no, excuse me. Not that one. Not one of not that specific WWE produced failure of WCW videos. But um the uh the Monday Night Wars where they actually it was the segment where they actually talked about Goldbergers on the network and they basically just brought out guys to talk about how completely crappy of a wrestler Goldberg was. Yeah, yep. And they buried him they're just like yep he didn't care he wasn't you know he wasn't a fan so he didn't really know about the product he just showed up went to the power plant they put him out there he he didn't work well with people he didn't want to do the job he didn't know how to wrestle and they showed the match that he had because they go well he's doing really well and then they put him in the ring with steven regal uh, do you are you familiar with the Goldberg Steven slash William Regal match? I am not, but now I'm, okay. now I'm interested. Okay, so Goldberg comes out to uh, face Steven at the time Regal, who you now know is William Regal for decades or whatever. Yeah. Um, so Regal was. Regal had his, I mean, he was still kind of the same gimmick. And, um, I mean, Regal's a catch as catch can wrestler. I mean, he's a wrestler of the fullest extent. Started wrestling when he was like 15. And him and Finlay used to wrestle in like potato fields for, you know, a pound of sterling and that type of thing. But anyway, <laughs> so they. Goldberg's been, you know, spearing and squashing people like Hugh Morris and Jerry Flynn and Jerry Flynn and Jerry Flynn. <laughs> and they put him in the ring with Regal and Regal goes and the in the interview segment they turn around and they go and Regal's like they come up to me and they go give him 6 minutes. And he goes, "Okay." Or bloody hell or whatever it is that, you know, you got to picture it as Regal. And he proceeds to try to wrestle with him for six minutes. Apparently not realizing that Goldberg doesn't know how to do like a collar and elbow tie up or anything. So like, it's like giving the four year old, the controller to like WWE 2K17. And he just starts mashing buttons. And he's like, Goldberg's just flying across the ring, like trying to like do it, like take down and like Regal just like moves out of the way. And it's, it's the ugliest thing you've ever seen. And it finally just ends up ending. And apparently like, Regal got a little bit of heat for it because it's like, oh, you, you know, you exposed him. You made him look bad. And he's like, I didn't expose him. You didn't fucking teach him how to wrestle. You exposed him. Right. 
sunshine mm. or again throwing your own regal chap. Terms, but yeah. 